They just shot it. What is going on up there? First, an alleged Chinese spy balloon, and now more objects have been brought down over North America, with Canada right in the middle of it. The Chinese balloon suggests there's a new era in surveillance to gather data that satellites high above cannot. Obviously, the closer you are to something, the, the, the more detail you can see. So a balloon would have that as an advantage. Um, it has a certain amount of what we call persistence to stay over a particular region of the ground below you. You can garner information on radio waves, on uh, cyber uh, activities and things like this that not necessarily a satellite would be able to, to be able to sense. Many of the satellites we know for weather and communications are way out, about 35,000 kilometers and in sync with the Earth's orbit. Most satellites, however, are in low Earth orbit. Up to 2,000 kilometers above the Earth, there are some 2,800 satellites, including spy satellites. By comparison, the International Space Station orbits around 350 kilometers above Earth. Now, outer space begins around 100 kilometers up. Commercial aircraft fly around 10 to 12 kilometers high. Weather balloons are often in the stratosphere. That Chinese balloon was determined to be about 60 kilometers high. The other objects brought down over the weekend were 20 and 40 kilometers high. It's in this space between where commercial aircraft are flying and where outer space begins that objects have not been watched as closely. And that is changing. One of the reasons that we think we're seeing more is because we're looking for more. The White House concedes that the U.S., Canada and NORAD have only recently begun to tweak their radar systems to watch that airspace for objects slower than planes and missiles. They have modified the filters and the gains, as we call it, uh, of, the, of uh, the radar capabilities to look more discreetly at high altitude, small radar cross section and low speed objects. It'll be important to find the objects to know whether they're all designed in some way to test North American defenses. These are going to be very key operations, not only in getting answers for Canadians, but being able to prepare to counter uh, future threats. There are few answers, but many new questions about how intelligence is being gathered over Canada and the U.S. and how to prevent it without shooting down more and more unidentified aerial phenomena. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.